Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's time for part 7 of our wonderful double modular mall build. And today we're going to be focusing on this empty area on the front left, where I'm going to be doing a vinyl record store. Uh, but before we get onto that, let's do the amendments from last time. <laughs> Well, in contrast to the mobile phone shop, where there were very few amendments suggested by you, there are quite a lot here on my travel agent. All of them quite small, actually, but uh, nonetheless very significant when all added together, so they're very welcome. Uh, the ones I did, first of all, were just uh, towing in the South America sign, so it kind of went into the middle like the ones on the other side, uh, and adding this missing cat uh, poster to this very blank wall outside. Uh, I also swapped the sticker that was on this door here, uh, from one that said camp to a smaller one that said Florida, because we'll see the other one uh, very soon. So those ones were my ones. Uh, your ones were very good, actually. We had uh, the globe piece that is a minifigure head that I'd forgotten that we'd got on the recent haul, so well remembered that person. Uh, also a mouse to go with a computer on the desk. Uh, also a chair, which was a very <laughs> silly thing of me to have forgotten for a customer to sit at. Uh, also, you all pretty much wanted me to raise up the mural on the back wall, so I've done that by a whole brick height, and you can start to see all those leaves behind the uh, travel agent there, so that looks a lot better. I totally agree with that one. Uh, and then there was quite a bit of discussion over what I should do with the blank bit of wall space above the mural. Uh, a lot of people suggested loads of clocks showing different time zone times, and I kind of liked that idea, and I did try it. I uh, didn't like it too much. It was a bit boring. Um, the leaves on top of the uh, mural, uh, 3D leaves being sort of yellows and oranges, that was a good idea. I did try that physically as well, because I've got all those in my the sea. Uh, I didn't like that much either. So what I did was added some travel icons, which would be sort of things that were pointing down towards the customer and that they could see and choose from. Do they want to go on a camp, uh, sort of mountaineering holiday, an Arctic holiday, a jungle holiday, or that one with the uh, flower there, I kind of thought was Hawaii themed or something like that. But either way, it definitely really fills up that area. Uh, but it was your idea to prompt me to uh, think again and redevelop that area. So I'm very grateful for that and all your other suggestions. So here is your reward, a badoing. Fantastic. Right, so on to today's build. And as always, we're going to start with doing more tiles for the floor level of our vinyl record store. Let's get going. All right, well, in front of a very bare back wall at the moment, we join DJ Pink, who owns this vinyl record store. And she'll be uh, turning the wheels of steel and playing the records uh, in the shop. Uh, I've got green bright green plates as the ground level just because well I really like the colour and I think it's a really good contrast to all the other colours that we're going to have in here and I haven't tiled it I've used studs as a change just well because everything's uh, got tiles at the moment and it'll just look a bit too uniform otherwise uh, and I've tried to add a lot to the texture by bringing in uh, these kind of steps into the establishment from outside uh, and what I've used is the three by four uh, well kind of modified tiles, I suppose, yeah, that series minifigures come on with just the four studs in the middle. And then I've put jumpers on top of those just to give it another half stud step. Uh, and that means that section can go in there. And all together, all these black and white are actually a piano keyboard. So you've got C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, and so on uh, to be a keyboard on all three sides. So I thought that was quite a good touch as well, if I do say so myself. Uh, and it means that when we've got our massive new windows, these six wide ones in this dark turquoise colour. There'll be a little step, a little step, the window frame, a little step, a little step, and in. And I think that is a nice texture. And from the outside, we'll see that piano keyboard with the shorter black keys uh, on top of the longer white keys. So I think that looks really good. Now, there is one complication. I need a cutaway uh, for something that's going to be in the middle of the store here. So what I'm doing in this section is actually just using jumpers with a one by one tile or here, for example, a three long jumper plate that I can put a two long jumper plate on. So when we've got that layer in place and we've got these windows there. It looks pretty cool. So yeah, very musical already. I like it a lot. Right, I'm going to take these windows off again because I think the next thing we need to do is get that back wall sorted and that needs to be bright and really, really pop. 
Good, good. Now, what's a bright contrast colour to dark turquoise? Well, I've gone for this uh, bright light flaming orange, or whatever they call it, uh, and I'm building up a very textured 3D wall actually as the backdrop, because we're going to have these three sides being quite open. Uh, and it's a wall built up of these 1x4 uh, modified tiles with a stud on either end. Uh, and they're just being bridged by 1x2s in grey. And it gives a really pleasing texture actually with flashes of white wall in between, but also shadow that adds a lot of interest to it, I think. It kind of reminds me of all the branding that was used on the recent video line of uh, sets and figures and so on, all those sort of really uh, intense, busy stripes. Uh, so I like that a lot. So I'm going to keep building this up for the entire wall using an absolute mountain of these little pieces. <laughs> uh, but I am going to have a solid section in the middle of the middle and that's going to sort of be hidden I guess by a 3D sign so I'm going to have some modified bricks in here I'm going to continue this up around the outside and along the top and then our 3D sign will hide all of that uh, nastiness there and uh, be well the focal point for the back wall of the shop yes I think that'll be really good uh, right so lots more fiddly parts to go hey hey that's looking pretty good if you ask me all firmly in place, built into the tile level at the top with tiles on the top itself in that flamish yellow orange. So that's looking really good. Uh, I've added some one by one brackets on each side just so we can add more wall hangings. Uh, but the main focal point, which will cover up all of this area here, is a big vinyl record. Uh, and I'm going to be making this out of this 8x8 round modified plate with a 4x4 version with just two studs on. Uh, that was only available in the uh, Disney minifigure Frozone. Uh, so I've got one of those, just so it looks most like a record. And for ages, I was planning on having this on the outside of the building somehow, or maybe having two or a double-sided one. And it's just too big and unwieldy. So essentially, I decided to put it on the back wall where it can go about here. And you see that absolutely hides all of the uh, attachments underneath it so it looks really nice now that looks fantastic and just to make the center even more interesting I thought this record store could have its own gold disc of everything is awesome obviously from the uh, flashback Lucy minifigure from the Lego movie 2 uh, and I just thought that could go as a bit of maybe memorabilia that's available for purchase on the center of there uh, now, as for the wall hangings on the other six, I just thought we'd have vinyl records and maybe these are picture discs or something like that. Uh, and they're all ones that I got with the video characters and sets and so on. Uh, so I think they're really good. I'm really glad I bought all of those, to be fair. So I'll just put them on in a random order. Now, I did have six different ones of these, uh, and that's... Uh, the number I need for all these attachments, uh, one of which was this one available from the old uh, DJ series minifigure. Uh, and annoyingly, I've just realized that it's got an X on the back rather than the uh, anti stud that the rest of them do. So it's not going to fit, at least not in a line with all the other ones. So hmm, that's a bit annoying <laughs> since I bought just the right number. So something that I've got that's very similar is this tambourine. So maybe this is the personal tambourine of DJ Pink and maybe she grabs it uh, from behind her desk whenever she wants to do it, her mixing deck, uh, desk. Uh, and there's another sort of gold Friends style one as well. So I'll put that on there. So that leaves us under absolutely no illusion as to what this shop is. It's a vinyl record shop. <laughs> no doubt about it. So yeah, that is really bright. It's got a lot of texture to it, just the way I like it. Packed and stacked. Yeah, looking really good. Uh, so the next thing I think I will do is put that mixing desk uh, here uh, where she can be uh, scratching some records and maybe that's where I'll use this one now uh, and I can have a, a tape for sale as well. I'm keen to use that little one by two uh, there uh, and yeah, we can get going with that. So that's going to go there so she can be behind it about here. Cool. Well, you know, I could almost stop there because that looks absolutely amazing, if you ask me. But uh, I will continue. Uh, first of all, the desk is a very, very complicated build using lots of little pieces, uh, just filling gaps and all the rest of it. Uh, mainly because I wanted to have this half stud kind of step here so it will fit perfectly with the edge of this. Uh, so there won't be an unseemly gap there. The fact that I've used the slide piece in there, maybe that's a wall socket or something like that. I don't think that's too bad. Uh, but for all these attachments, I'm going to add 
stuff for sale or stuff that's in use. So I'm going to have a couple of audio cassettes on the end there. Very retro. Uh, a keyboard uh, there and a computer for looking up in the back catalogue. What is what? So there we go. That's for Pink to use, DJ Pink. I'm talking to DJ Pink. There is her DJ deck. So she can play that record that won't fit on the wall. So that's good. And we've just got uh, the arm of the record player uh, being this uh, antenna piece. It's kind of been done before many times. But yeah, it's pretty simple but effective build. Whoop. There we go. Put that in position. So I like that very much. Uh, we've got a bit of space down here uh, on the floor. So I thought maybe this place also sells old fashioned ghetto blasters. If you do want to play your uh, audio tapes with that one or plug in your iPod, <laughs> remember those there? And I guess that one might even just be a radio. I don't know, or maybe that's actually digital radio or something now. But I thought those could all just be stacked against the back wall there. So we've got absolutely every area with something in it. Wow, that's looking even better. I'm glad I continued. <laughs> now, uh, one thing that I think is very synonymous with a store like this is kind of a top 10, uh, the chart effectively of uh, the current records that are doing really well in the world. Uh, now, I thought about doing a top 10 with loads of numbers, one to 10, but it was going to be very difficult. Uh, and then came along this wonderful tile that's got the numbers one to eight on it. Uh, there's another one that goes actually 9 to 16, but I'm not going to be using that. Uh, this one came from the art project that I got when I did the Robin Hood bricks uh, head, uh, set 21226. Uh, and it's kind of used as a coding to tell you which uh, number represents which colour when you're doing one of those mosaics. Uh, but what I'm going to use it for is a hit parade. So I can have the top uh, number one record on one side, then the number two, number three, number four, number five, all the way down to the bottom. And I'm going to have that kind of as a column here uh, and that's going to be the bit that's built into the edge of uh, this wall here as well so that would be a structure that breaks up the rest of the store so that's what I'm going to do next well all these wonderful video tiles mean I'm absolutely spoilt for choice these are two that didn't make my uh, top 10 or my top 8 as it actually is uh, but don't worry I'll be able to use a lot more of these that I didn't pick in loads of bargain bins that people can be rifling through in the rest of the store shortly uh, but as for my column that is going to go here kind of built into that edge of the store I've made an absolute load of modified bricks on both sides and indeed on a third side that's going to go on there so I'll put that on like that and these are going to be absolutely covered in record so let's do this little column first uh, for this I thought I'd just have loads of records that are ready to be bought really and given that the one playing at the moment is this one, maybe this is the hit of the day. Uh, so that one's actually a bit depleted because people have been buying it essentially. So there we go. So lots of colours on that column and that'll be facing in towards the store. But I think we'll still be able to see it quite well. Uh, then on this side, we're going to do the hit parade. So I'm going to put a black tile there and our one to eight one up there. And bit more black there so we can have one two three four five six seven eight as our top eight which is an odd number to choose but hey ho it's about the right height as well so I'm fine by that uh, so number one we're going to have that one as I've suggested uh, Hollywood dues mm -hmm. well whatever that is this one looks a bit like something uh, like Diana Ross or something like that but there we go maybe it's just oldies uh, that I absolutely love as some sort of rock metal or something like that talking of metal music there's somebody thrashing a guitar very good and some spaceman playing a guitar as well makes me think of a bowie song that uh, then we've got everything is awesome obviously still in the chart that's probably been in the chart for absolutely years but uh very popular that looks like a keyboard and singer type duo very electronica very 80s uh, and then we've got maybe a kid's record where somebody's flossing. <laughs> I mean, that just looks perfect, doesn't it? So there we go. A very, very colourful wall with our top eight records on and loads of shelves for, well, picking them up as well. So I think that's really good. Now, this wall will come into the edge of the build and we'll have the windows going right up to that. So we won't see really so much of this plain wall on this side, and there's no space for tiles there, and that'll cover that tiny, tiny hole there, so we can't see it as well. 
Uh, but we do have the other side of this great big column to consider. And on these studs, I'm going to build one of those things where you can listen to a record before you buy it uh, and kind of have a bit of a boogie on your own if you're uh, so inclined. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do next. Right, so I'm continuing the use of dark turquoise as my highlight colour for this store. Uh, and when they do these sound booths, they tend to isolate them a little bit uh, with screens, especially when there's more than one, so you don't bump into other people where you're just listening. You've got your own little area. So that's what they are. Then uh, you need lots of controls to enable you to skip tracks or select from all of the options available. So I'm going to put lots of little controls there and a green light to say that it's playing like that. And then above, this could either be the record that's actually uh, being listened to at the moment, or it could just be uh, a jazzy sign saying uh, this is where you can listen to things on headphones. <laughs> I think it works either way, really. So I'm going to put that on the stud above there. Very nice bright bit of colour as well. Uh, and there's one stud that I missed that I deliberately put on the top, actually, because maybe somebody carelessly or just for extra storage has just thrown uh, a rap album onto the top there, and it's just... Uh, well, languishing there on its own. So I thought, why not use that rather than have a flat surface with nothing on it? So that can all go here. Oh, push that down nice and firmly. Uh, and then all we need is somebody who's in their little own universe with their headphones on, having a good old sing song uh, and really enjoying themselves. So I've mixed a few sort of minifigure parts together for that. Lucy's head and um, this World Tour 1985 t-shirt. So that's looking really good uh, with uh, more interesting coloured hair. So she can be just here, really enjoying her music. Oh yes, that's very fun. And you'll be able to see her very clearly through one of these windows, of course. Fantastic. Well, if this is going to be believable as a vinyl record shop, we need a lot more vinyl in it. So I've done four of these great big chests full of records. I could put one in there and another that's being rummaged through as we speak uh, there and the person who's been doing the rummaging is this guy with a wonderful mohican in red and he's got another one of the records that i really wanted to display because it's just great this uh, x-ray skeleton playing a guitar so i really like that and he's very happy with his find so i'm going to put him there so he can be seen through all of the doors and windows yeah that's a really packed and stacked interior i think you'll agree uh, so I'm going to do two more boxes on the outside, much like we did for the supermarket uh, a few months ago. Uh, so now I think I can add the windows to seal all of this stuff in. And I'm going to add some stickers to the windows as well, much like we did to the skate shop and to this travel shop as well. And the first one is this one for the same world tour that's on the back of her T-shirt, uh, the 1985 one. So it must be a very, very famous world tour. Uh, given that it's so old and still so uh, famous. Uh, but this was a sticker that I had to cut out very, very carefully. See all those jagged edges, and that represents its age uh, from a piece like this one, uh, where it was part of a much bigger sticker uh, from the Sons of Garmadon HQ set 70640 from 2018. Uh, and the reason why I did that was because I bought two of these, and one, well, the sticker was in an absolute state. It had been put in very badly, was curling up all around the edges, so when I pulled it up using my patented hot tea technique, uh, I decided that after cleaning it up, I would cut it out very accurately. So that's about as good as I could do. And I thought that would be really good uh, position over here so we could always see it. Uh, and then the other window on each side is going to be open. Uh, and this is so I want us to be able to see right into the store. And I figure that basically for each pair, you've kind of got a sliding door perhaps. And the bit that was in that bit slides to go behind the other glass bit. So that is going to be the empty half of that side. This is going to be the full half of this side with the empty half hiding all that hole in there. And then we can have one more sticker here, which is probably for guitar lessons or something like that on the window there, which can go near DJ Pink. And then that will also have an open side as well. So. It'd be great if these could take two pieces of glass or maybe we could have like a the edge of one here, but I don't think that's going to happen. And quite frankly, I think it looks believable enough as it is. And being able to see through uh, is a really good plan. 
Uh, now, I might be able to get clear glass instead of this uh, translight blue in the future if I don't really like it when it's finished, uh, but the availability of that was very limited when I was buying all the pieces for this build. But yeah, I think that's good. And I've lined up all the scenes with all of the empty windows. So you can see in there, you can see in there, and you can see through there at uh, DJ Pink, of course. So yeah, I think that should work rather well. Uh, so these spaces are just for more bins of records. So I can put that one in there and this one in here, showing off more of the wonderful video tiles of rappers and beatboxers and all the rest of it. So I think that's really good. Very bright and colorful and even more street texture. Fantastic. Right, so now uh, we just need to build the kind of last level along the top edges, which will have all of the signage along uh, its edges, also the two columns that are gonna make up these two corners, and then we'll be done. Okay, so just in case you're in any doubt that this was a record shop, basically I'm adding loads of vinyl record, kind of mini signs, I suppose, uh, to absolutely every flat surface on the outside uh, and you'll see that I've got two studs facing the outside to hold on to each of the records but the other two are going on to inside which means I can have more vinyl records mounted throughout this inside lip all around here so we won't have the same problem that we had briefly in the uh, travel agent with an empty bit of wall space that isn't used so yeah even more packed and stacked and I've even got uh, big speakers ooh, like this uh, mounted in the corners here you can see one facing into the building uh, to play all of that music from DJ Pink I'm gonna have to put that back on in a minute uh, so yeah so I can put that there uh, then in between all of these in the middle I'm going to use this great big video tile which I think is cool so that must be the logo for the store uh, and that's in dark turquoise as well. And I've got another one on this face over here. Uh, but for this face here, I'm just going to do a slightly different one, which was another uh, video tile, two by four with them dancing on. So that looks pretty appropriate. And I can have that one on there. That was from the uh, limo uh, one. Very cool indeed. Right, so the next level is to put all these white wedge plates all around and I can put them all going around the corner as well. And then we can start kind of boxing it all in with a tile layer as well. And that will be our finished edge. So I've got to continue that all the way around here, uh, but with the records on the inside wall, these signs all around the outside wall and this sort of interesting white detail. I love this poster. It just looks absolutely amazing there, I think. Uh, you know, it's looking absolutely crazy. Uh, and if we didn't have enough already, I've got two of these wonderful Rock Tour posters, which are from uh, one of those troll sets that I've mentioned a few times in Brick Halls. And they're just on little stands because I'm going to have one kind of outside that window and one on the far side down here in between uh, the travel agent and uh, DJ Pink. And that will be kind of near the uh, uh, sign for the uh, music lessons over there. So I think you'll agree that sign's very colourful, uh, kind of repeating. But you'll definitely know it's a vinyl record store. So yeah, it looks pretty good. So I just need to finish that off. It's quite hard to show you all of this just because everything's so vast now. And it's quite heavy as well. But it does go all the way to the other end. So yeah, looking good. I'm happy with it. Tell me what you think. All right, we're all done. That top level there with the tiles finished. And it looks very much ready for the next floor to start, which is what we'll be doing next time we go to the mall. Uh, but inside, see those speakers and those extra vinyl records. Got uh, the DJ decks being played in there and all of the bins of records and so on for people to rummage through. I love that back wall with all that color and those records on the really, really giant one and so on. So yeah, looking great there. The external sign is looking pretty nice. This repeating pattern with records on and these windows and the bins. You can see the scenes through the windows. I really like that. We've got kind of two scenes there, one behind the other. And if we go around this side, we've got this chap finding his record and that wonderful poster, more signage and the rest of it. And I've even got that tan stripe on the pillar there continuing the stripe that we had elsewhere on the building uh, in other units. And then 
around this side, another punk rock tour poster and that music lessons one in the window and even more color and detail. And through that window, we can see the DJ as well. So yes, I'm really liking that. So we haven't got a massive 3D sign on the outside as such, but we've got lots of little ones and these uh, bins here for rummaging through old records. Uh, but we do have a massive sign on the inside. And wow, this has got to be arguably the most colorful one we've done so far out of all of these, bar maybe the skate shop, because that was pretty crazy as well. Uh, but yes, this thing is really coming together, isn't it? Absolutely tons of variety, textures, shapes, colors, all the rest of it. And I am loving it. Uh, this will be the main angle that we'll see it from the second standing hole. So that's why I wanted this to be very visible, and very prominent, this record shop. Uh, but yes, with the skate shop kind of behind it from this angle, it looks absolutely amazing. So... Do tell me what you like about this, what you might amend or change. Uh, but yeah, I'm thinking it's rather fantastic. Oh, and we've even forgotten about uh, the piano key kind of detail on the bottom of all these windows. That was inspired, if I do say so myself. <laughs> so a bit of a long one, perhaps, but I think it was well worth it. The results are absolutely fantastic. And well, I've just used a load of video tiles, so I'm really happy with that as well. Uh, but as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. And next time on Robin Hood Bricks, it'll be a Wednesday, so we'll be doing a brick haul. Uh, then on Friday, another mock build, possibly part two of the ship that we started on Friday. Uh, and then I'm taking a break from the channel for two weeks. Mrs. Hood is taking me away. So you'll have an agonizing wait uh, until, well, many Mondays in the future <laughs> for the next part of this mall build, where we'll start to go onto the second floor of the left-hand side above where we are right now. So until all of that, see you. <laughs> yeah, beatbox is quite hard.